Welcome to Elk, a small island village. You're here far from home to work with a friend of your father. As you might expect from a small island, there isn't much to do here other than involve yourself in the lives of your neighbors. This game takes real life stories from people and turns them into events and characters in the game. In fact, the game includes a few full motion video clips from some of the people telling their stories. Om den gang jeg fandt en mand som var hos hjem. Det er meget år siden. Jeg var ung tømmer og havde taget arbejde op i en lille by langt nord herfra. Og jeg kan tydeligt huske, det var en mandag morgen. Occasionally the game will break the fourth wall and invite you into their studio to get a glimpse of the process and the people. The game has an interesting cartoon art style. It's mostly line art with only the characters and the interactables colored in. You may be able to interact with something at one time, but not another, and the game will let you know this by changing the coloring. There are several mini games to play that are non-recurring. They're just little one-off games that don't really involve puzzle solving. So you get through them pretty quick, nothing challenging, and I think they're a nice touch. I've played games before where the mini games really felt like a chore, and fortunately this is not one of those games. So I listened to headphones while playing this game and I really like the music. The ambient sounds, everything just fit appropriately for the setting. And the characters feel like real people with problems and struggles. They're certainly the interesting type of characters that might choose this kind of lifestyle, living on a remote island, that is. There is one thing that everyone on this island seems to be passionate about, though, and that is a nice tall beverage. Yeah, the locals like to meet down at the Hermit for a nice little drinky poo every once in a while. Some more than others. Originally, I was just expecting a charming little game with some cute graphics, hear some stories, meet some characters, like taking a vacation. Oh no, it's him. Shh, don't piss him off. I forgot to mention, the game gets dark sometimes, but that's not what it's about. I mean, you really never know when he'll be around. Fortunately, he tends to stay out of the way, keep to himself. For the most part, it's nice here, but uh, something weird is definitely going on. Someone keeps leaving bottles with little notes in them on your dining room table at night, then Oh, then there are those strange dreams, too. The stories and people in Welcome to Elk are fascinating. I was captivated all the way through to the end in my first session playing this game. It took me right around five hours to complete, so it's a relatively short game, but it's obvious the game very much respects your time and doesn't overstay its welcome. They condensed a lot of emotion and content into those five hours. In that time, I got to peer into the daily lives of a dozen or so people, explore a strange dream, and really feel for the characters. I just know I'm going to be thinking about some of these characters tomorrow and probably the next day. For me, I get so much more value out of a game like this than, say, going to watch a movie. I compare it to that because it's something you could finish in an evening. I feel entertained in the same way, like as if I was reading a story, but I get so much more satisfaction from it, like I accomplished something. <laughs> anyway guys, Welcome to Elk will be available on Xbox One and Game Pass September 17th. Honestly, I feel like it's a great fit for Game Pass. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.